In this video, you will learn how to design a PLC panel using engineering software and how to turn your drawing into a real world panel layout. To make this topic very interesting and simple for beginners, we will start with very basic example. Let's get started. When you open Kufax engineering software, you will see options for micros. This is where you will find micro for Schneider PLC. You can place it in your workspace like this. Of course, you can customize and modify it later as needed. First, let's add the terminal points for connecting L and N. Click on the potential arrow to make connection. This will be your LPLC connection. And then this is going to be NPLC. Now you can copy this and paste here like this. As you can see, the cross references are coming from the page number. Now let's connect everything here. For that, we will use this one from here. Let's connect it with E. Let's say E2, you can change the location of assemble designation from here like this. You can save it from here. When you click and enter inside micro, you will see part number. We'll explain this part number in more details when we will discuss bomb. Now let's connect these two connection points to the positive and negative 24 volt. For that let's get T point. One like this, other one like this. Now get again potential arrow. Hit, here name it 24V positive and other one 0 volt. You can copy paste like this. You can save this by page down up. If we use these potential arrows in a different pages, like if you like if I use it here in the third page and you can see here cross references are updated accordingly. Now if we use in first page, we are going to see different cross references. Now let's learn how to change angle direction of a potential arrow. Hold Alt, hold alt key. Scroll the mouse wheel and change the angle like this. I will simply put it here. Let's name it switch. It's an ethernet communication switch. Click OK. Now in the symbol library, find G03 and, and put it here. I will get these two and put it here. Let's see the symbol library. Press F. Grab. Grab fuse to pull this, this one. Give some details. It's going to be it's going to be 220v dash 24vc dot c and 6 ampere or 6a. Click OK and then apply. If you click on the properties and go here and simply change the position like this. Now click here and provide some details here. 10 into 38 and 6 ampere. Click OK and then apply and save. Now here we need a T point. Also click on this one like that. Like that. And now take this one to make this like this. 
and this one make it like this now let's connect 24 volt like this and 0 volt and 0 volt is going to be here and make connection here and then like that and like that and connect here also this one this one here 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 i will use until here you now can use same micro in a different pages let's go to three let's go to three let's go to page number three and you can use the same card in a different page if you have a one product and this one is not a main device you can select auxiliary from here 12.25 color of the device will change to gray here you will see the cross reference which means the main plc is it's on the second page and first column here you will see another cross reference third page first column where you will see auxiliary micro of this now time to continue wiring for that let's go and click symbols get circuit breaker give description 1p plus n and 10a here we will here we, we here we will continue like this like that like this like that and make connection like that and then connect it here like that like that and then again like this and this like this like this let's get residual current operated circuit breaker like this now let's get now let's make connection like this Add a potential arrow L1 N1 Control C and Control V to copy and paste. And further we will make connection here like this like this like this now take a circuit breaker miniature circuit breaker and place it here like this make connection here like this and this one and this one from here and connect it like this like this like this click here and give a technical description 1p plus n and 10a click ok apply and now let's save now it's the time to do the connection for i6 and i7 
ED06, ED6 and ED7. Now add further ED9. You can continue further but here we will keep it to ED9. Now let's connect to Q9. Take a connector K9, apply OK. You can get this change over contact. It's important to understand another very interesting and very nice feature of a Corfax software. That's the numbering. You go here, see numbering and then click whites. And then numbers it would automatically number each and every wires let's go to show then pages in the tree uh, and create automatic pages let's go to the first two devices here you will see early wind symbols used in the project And then you can go to another page, Bill of Material, that shows components or the devices used and their part number, etc. And then we have a wiring list, which is very useful for wiring termination and troubleshooting. That's all for today. If you like this video and you want us to make more interesting videos like this, Consider hitting the like button subscribe if you haven't yet until next time take care and bye-bye